Hi, this is a short video to show you how to do some of your basic bobbin maneuvers on any of your vintage Bernina machine. And this, uh, you know, is showing that the lower thread, bobbin thread is coming up uh, and meeting with the upper thread so that you can form a good stitch. But the question is, what happens if this comes out? How do you get this bobbin thread back up? I mean, this is a super basic thing, but I don't know if I could find videos to easily explain this. And then also when I was new to the Bernina, there was a bunch about how to oil it and there's lots of pictures, but I really had to go in and have a person show me until uh, before I really understood where to oil it properly and, and a good method for that. So let's just start at the beginning. There's the bobbin cover. You just, I just use my fingernail, that little indent, pop this open, and then here's the bobbin. In the course of regular business, um, the way that you would get this bobbin out, it's in this uh, metal casing, it's a little bit like a door. There's the handle there and it kind of flips a switch and then you can pull it out. So I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna use my fingernail here and just pull that open. See that like a zip, it's kind of like a zipper pull. Um, so I'm gonna take that and pull that out. And here you go. So um, what it has is this little finger. Um, there is that little kind of zipper latch. And then here's the bobbin itself. Um, so it will just kind of fall out. Um, right now it's set with pretty good tension. There's lots of other videos on how to do that. If you do need to tighten or loose it, there's your little screw. But for the most part, you get it set. And you know what you're doing is you know changing this for purposes of color, and it just pulls out there. Um, you know color, or you need to wind it, you run out. And some people have all kinds of fear when it runs out. It's because like, oh my gosh, how am I going to reload this bobbin? Um, so here's I'm going to show you how to just load it and get it to come back up so you're in sewing ready position. Um, you just put it back in. In my case, I have it kind of, you know, there's, see it right there? I'm just having it kind of hanging out here. Just pop it back in. And then you'll see these little guides. And you need to basically get it over to here. So I'm just pulling this and then um, gently encouraging it over here to where it's made it into this big open spot. And now it's got proper tension on it. And you can feel it because it's, you know, you kind of pull and it gives, has a little bit of drag on it there, you know, tension on it. And that's what you want. Now do not be cheap with how much you leave out. I mean, I don't know, what's that? Like eight inches, seven, eight inches. I, I think that's pretty good. Um, and then you put the finger in the up position and you kind of, I kind of hold on to it in the left hand. And then you just find where it just kind of like uh, pops back in with the finger in the up position. Then you just press it in and boom, it's there. But then you still have the string hanging out. So first of all, back to this, that's just gonna be a little bit of muscle memory as you get used to how that fits in. Okay, now you've got the string kind of hanging out and you're like, well, wait, how do I get it up here? And um, the way you do that is you hold your upper, which is already threaded and you don't pull it tight because you need a little bit of slack. It's kind of like fishing. You're fishing and you're just gonna like get a bite, right? So you're just holding it kind of like with a tiny bit of slack and with your hand wheel, rounding it towards me. I'm going, I guess that's counterclockwise, counterclockwise so that the needle comes down with a little bit of slack here. I'm fishing, I'm fishing for that lower one. And it should, you'll, you'll feel it kind of catch a little bit and you'll be like, hmm, what's that? You keep turning and it will kind of release. And at that point, you pull it in, see if you caught a fish. I caught one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use, and you'll see right there, there's that lower thread. And you can just pull it out now. And boom, you're in sewing ready position once you just flip that shut. So one more time, I'm gonna show you that. Here we are again, slack on, the, on this. We're just popping it in here. Um, pop, fit in there nicely, seated nicely. And then um, using this to hand wheel it with a little bit of slack. It's coming around, picking it up. And then I pick it up there and then dry it out. And now we're ready to sew again. You can watch my other videos on how to, how to start a good stitch so you don't have problems. Okay, now let's talk about the other main thing, which is how to oil this thing. I mean, there's oil points all throughout the machine, consult your manual. But the main thing you need to oil is your bobbin because there's so much action in here and it's gonna be metal on metal. So this is a piece that you need to, I don't know, like every couple, 
projects maybe. And uh, the way I would describe it is this. When would you oil a pan if you're planning to fry an egg? The answer is before you fry the egg, right? So you oil before you start a project, not at the end. You don't oil it at the end after you're done because you just don't want the oil sitting there just doing nothing. You want to oil it and then immediately start sewing on it so that you can get a little bit of excess out and kind of get it lubricated. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to oil it. Okay, first of all, let's take the bobbin out again. Okay, I'm just going to set that aside. And then now you've got this thing going on. Okay, so here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a, a latch here. So I'm going to press it and that releases this. And always, always, after every project, you should be dusting this whole thing. Okay, so I just kind of leave it there. I just set it down. And then you've got this, um, I think they call this whole thing the, the race or something like that, or the bobbin something. <laughs> and um, you kind of want, if you want to, you, you can take a picture of it right now just to kind of remember, you know, where it looks. Because it's going to be a lot of just feeling it and, again, muscle memory. It'll be very, very automatic after you've done this enough time. But, you know, initially it's kind of like, well, how does that fit in? I'm still learning. Um, so I'm going to use my finger here. And, and you can see in this way, kind of like the open side's on the left. And then the uh, seashell side, I'll call it, is on the right. That's kind of how it came out, just like that. Okay. But now you're like, where do I oil this thing? And you'll see all kinds of manuals. They're like, oh, oil this race and da-da-da-da-da. Well, I went and talked to a tech Bernina technician because I, I just wanted... I needed more, like, help me in person kind of thing. So what they said was, just see this flat edge here? I don't know what you'd call this. I guess if this were a tire, I guess this would be the tire tread, um, although it's smooth. That is what you oil. And um, less is more, you know, in this case. And, you know, you, you know, use a good quality sewing oil. Um, I just have a drop there, a tiny, tiny drop, really. And then I'm just gently putting it, on that flat edge. It's, you know, it's like about half, half of this, you know, it's that flat edge. It's the most obvious thing you'd think of when, once you look at it to oil and that's it. Not too much, not too little. It shouldn't be dripping or anything. And then here's the, uh, here's the tricky part is getting it back in here kind of, because like I said, I'm still getting muscle memory. Actually, that feels really good right where I put it. That looks like it fits right there. And then, you know, you gotta do a little bit of coordination here to get up. You can watch me struggle here, trying to put this whole thing back together. There, whoops, I didn't need to do that. I, I, I did that wrong. There we go, this is the one. <laughs> and you know what? It just fit right in there. I didn't have to struggle at all. I just pulled that all back up. It clamped back in the spot. I'm gonna, again, use my hand wheel and you see that it's just moving nicely. So, you want to kind of move it around, lubricate it a little bit, and then you want to autumn, you know, it, you know, uh, take a good test stitch and stitch it a little bit so that um, you can get that oil kind of lubricated. And that's the way that you um, put in a bobbin, get it to have the bobbin thread come up, and then also how to oil your bobbin case.